Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Prats, the Vice President of Communications, Marketing and Meetings here at BOMA International, and I'm joined today by our Chairman, Jim Peck, with C.B. Richard Ellis in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Good morning, how are you? Great, great to be here. Fun to be in D.C. again. Yeah, and we're excited to have Jim here to talk about a very exciting new program that BOMA International has introduced, our BOMA 360 Performance Program. Uh, Jim, why don't you tell us a little bit about the program? Well, it's a groundbreaking program that we developed uh, over the last year or so with uh, input from several of our members as well as staff on really how to benchmark a high-performance office building. Um, looking at all the aspects of the building, the uh, fire, life safety, security, operations manual, tenant relations, uh, as well as energy and sustainability, which is a big part, but it's, uh, it's a holistic approach to the whole management of an office building. Why is BOMA introducing a program like this now? I mean, this is probably the worst recession we've had in our lifetime. Um, you know, times are tough. Why this program now? Well, again, it was a, one way for our membership to be able to look at the entire operations of their building and not just focus on one area. I mean, uh, we do have things like, like LEED out there, and, and that's uh, becoming a, a somewhat of a, of a benchmarking tool, but it doesn't focus on the entire building, whereas the BOMA 360 program focuses on all aspects of operations um, as well in my opinion is one of those things you can take to your tenants or a prospective tenant and say this you know our building is certified uh, not certified but it has been recognized as a, uh, a high performance building on a set of criteria that uh, is evaluated um, through a, a scoring program and basically you know, our building performs uh, better than the competition and it's something you know not only through the certification the plaque and all the good stuff we get, but you, things you can show to your tenants on a tenant renewal basis that you know the building you're in is is a, a BOMA best building, so to speak. There's been a lot of buzz out in the industry as we conferred our first class in June at the conference in Philadelphia. You've been traveling around the country now, talking to many different local associations. What are you hearing out in the field about the BOMA 360 program? It's been very well received. Uh, I think people were kind of looking for a, a program that they could use, again, to, um, to benchmark their building as a, as a best practices building. Um, you know, we have uh, Energy Star is certainly out there, and that's part of this whole program, as well as uh, benchmarking your building on the EER. Uh, but then you add your, your tenant operations manual, uh, your building practices that you're you know, making sure your tenants and vendors carry insurance, uh, that you know your fire and light safety system is, is tested and drilled. Uh, so it's, it's that, again, the whole building program. Uh, and, and we're hearing a lot of good buzz about it. You know, in all the locals that I've been to, people are really excited about being able to you know, get their building in. And we've got a great set of mentors out there that uh, you know certainly the Crescent people in uh, in Houston, uh, the uh, Reef people in San Francisco, Advanced Realty in New Jersey. Uh, there's some great resources and people that are, are really willing to help those members that want to benchmark their building. So there's it's kind of nice to have that mentor class out there. I know in talking to Ginny Carita at Advance in New Jersey. She put through her biggest building in their portfolio and said, if this building can pass and be designated as a BOMA 360 building, then my entire portfolio can get through this program. And she's about to um, enter the rest of their portfolio in That's the program, fantastic. which is very exciting. And with Crescent, as you mentioned, they put through a 10-building portfolio. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and Stream Realty out of Dallas, Bill Mobius's group, they put together, I think, two or three buildings. Three buildings, right. And, and I know they're looking to put together some more. They, they really got a lot out of it. Um, I think it, it was one of those things where the first class was a real learning program for them. I know uh, um, C.B. Richard Ellis, Gary Caleri in our uh, Columbus office put together uh, one of their buildings, uh, learned a lot about you know, the operations on their, on their property. So it's not only it's a, a great program, but I think people are learning a lot about their buildings. And, and uh, it's one of those things where uh, you know, once you've done it, you know, the, the going through the process on a continuing basis is, just becomes that much easier. And not only learning about your building, but validating what your building personnel are doing. 
Exactly. Well, and it's one of, to me, it's one of those things where you can show, uh, um, you know, this is certainly something for a lender to see. Uh, again, you know, tenants, they, they, people want to see that, that their building has met a, a, a set of criteria. It's not just, uh, you know, bragging rights is always kind mm -hmm. of a cool thing, but being able to have that documentation, so to speak, behind it is always a, a, a real plus. I mean, and that third-party validation. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, how do people enroll their buildings? It's so simple, even I could do it. <laughs> and we are. Uh, uh, BOMA's uh, website, BOMA.org, um, there is a, uh, a 360 page there. You go, it'll walk you through. It has frequently asked questions, uh, has contact information for uh, Ron Burton, who's kind of spearheading this as well as Lisa. Mm -hmm. uh, and you basically enter your building and, and it walks you through everything. You upload some documents. Um, we're he uh, people are, from what I'm hearing out there, it doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, once you assemble all the uh, product together, you just upload it you know, to Bohm International and then it's scored on a quarterly basis and December 1st is the deadline, I believe, for our next, uh, next go-around. That's correct. And as you said, uh, people who have gone through the program, what they've done is printed out the instructions. They're very, very detailed assembled all of their documents together and then um, uploaded and filled out the online form and it takes them about an hour. Uh, and as you said, we're accepting uh, applications throughout the year at any time. Uh, the designations are conferred on a quarterly basis and the next deadline is December 1st. Thank you, Jim, very much. You're welcome. Thank you, Lisa, and participate.